Okay, so I have been a mom for four years now and we have always lived somewhere uh, with snow. We lived in Central Oregon and there was a lot of snow in the winter and now we're in Northern Idaho and there is a lot more snow. <laughs> um, but I mentioned the four year thing because this is the first year that we actually have all the gear that I want. I feel like our repertoire is complete <laughs> um, and I feel like I have the system dialed. Uh, I think there is, I have been wanting to do this for years, right? I've been wanting it to be this way, but good snow gear and especially good snow gear that is systematized is expensive. <laughs> it's an investment and I could never have done this all in just one fell swoop one year. And so we may do with what we had for many years. I mean, for four seasons now, uh, we may do with Carter snowsuits or Columbia snowsuits or Costco has great snowsuits. Um, and so I say all of that because I want to put a disclaimer on this video. I don't want anyone to feel like you need to have all this gear like this in order to get your kids out in the snow because it's just not true. Um, but that being said, I have found it super helpful to learn from other moms who are a little bit ahead of me and who have the whole like snow rain gear system down um, and not like overwhelming their lives and bins and house. <laughs> Um, and so I, now that I feel like I have it down for our family, I wanted to pass it along to you all um, in case it might be helpful for one of you or more of you um, to, to kind of see what we've done. So let me start with footwear. Um, I went back and forth a lot. We've tried a lot of different things. Honestly, I figured out that the number one thing keeping my kids from going outside was snow boots. I hate putting snow boots on my kids. I work up a sweat. They hate it. I hate it. You got to take the stupid liners out, shove their feet in on them. And then you're like, Shh, keep your leg, your knee straight. And you're like shoving their feet in the boots after you put the liners in. And the whole thing is a nightmare. And I found that they would be asking to go outside. Like, mom, we want to go play in the snow. And I'd be like, no, I don't really feel like putting our snow boots on right now. And that is not the kind of mom I want to be. I want to be the kind of mom that's like, sure, go ahead. Um, I don't want my frustrations to limit my kids going outside. And so I just decided I've got to figure out this freaking footwear thing. I've got to get the footwear dialed so that it's easy for my kids to go outside. And so that when they want to go outside or when we all want to get out the door, it's just an automatic yes and it's easy. Um, so there's a couple different things here. We have a full, we have two full rain seasons and then we have about four months of snow. I'm talking like two feet of snow without melting. Um, so we actually need snow gear and rain gear. Um, and what I've done in the past is I've just got gotten cheap, you know, like 10 or $20 snow boots for everyone from um, our North 40, which is like our local like farm supply store um, or Target or whatever. And then they've had their snow boots, but I really want, and our, and our rain season, I should mention, is very much a mud season. There is a lot of mud. Um, and so I really wanted, baby, no, no. So, here, let me this. Um, I really wanted to find a way to combine the snow boots and rain boots, which can be difficult because when you have a lot of rain, um, you really need something to keep their feet dry. And then in the snow, you need something to keep their feet warm. So like regular rain boots don't really double very well. Anyway, one really good option is Hunter rain boots because they have uh, removable like fleece liners that you can buy. So you can buy the rain boots, which are really nice thick rubber anyway. They're not just like the thin rubber that you would buy at like Target. Um, and then you can add the fleece liners and essentially turn them into snow boots. And so those are a great dual, pur dual purpose rain slash snow boot. Um, but the other option, which is what, oh, and then bogs, I was gonna mention bogs are another great um, kind of dual purpose option. So I wanted to throw those two out there because those are really good options if you have this available. A lot of people around here in Northern Idaho or kids around here wear bogs. Um, the third option is just a straight up muck boot, which is what we ended up going with. So these are Roper brand. I don't know where you can get them. I got these on Zappos. They were the last two sizes and they happen to be my kids' sizes. Um, a friend here, an older couple actually suggested this brand. And they're just good old fashioned muck boots. If you don't know what muck boots are, they have this plastic, like waterproof, you know, like rain boot type thing. And then they have this neoprene, this is neoprene, 
um, which is also waterproof. But the nice thing about the neoprene is it's also really warm. Um, and so with a thick like wool or we use smart wool, I'll show you, but uh, sock on the inside, their feet stay totally warm and their snow pants go down to here anyway. So none of the neoprene is exposed to the snow anyway when they're in their, in their snowsuits. But if they're wearing these, which they do with any other clothes, like they slip these on to go out the door, you know, every time they go out the door, um, the neoprene still keeps them dry, like their legs dry and warm. And in the, in our mud seasons, in our fall and our spring seasons, these will keep their feet dry and they can romp through the mud, which is the big thing. We have so much mud here. Um, they can romp through the mud in these as they would with rain boots. So this is going to be, I think, as long as they continue to work as well as they have, this is going to be our go-to boot, just a good old fashioned classic mud boot. What I love about them is they don't have liners, so I don't have to help the kids like put the liners on and then put the snow or the boots on and they're stiff. They don't like flop. You know how snow boots like flop over like this and so you have to like wrangle them up. These are stiff. So the kids literally just step into them and I don't have to do a darn thing. <laughs> um, so that was my first problem solved is that I no longer have to put, help my kids put their shoes on to get out in the snow and that has changed my life. Speaking of muck boots, I also own muck boots and wear them for about half the year here. <laughs> Um, this brand is Tidewee. I actually got it on Amazon. Um, instead of getting like an actual, like there's the brand muck boots or mud boots. I can't remember. I think they're called muck boots. Um, and there are like extra tough boots. My husband has extra tough boots, but, um, there were, uh, supply chain delays last year. So I had to find an off brand and I've loved these. They were like half the price of name brand muck boots. They work perfectly, they don't leak. This is my second season, I wear them as my snow boot. And then again, I wear them as my um, fall and spring boot as well. And they keep my feet perfectly warm and they're stiff. So I just leave them by the door and just drop my foot into them. I don't have to even bend down to pull them up so I can do it with um, full arms, which my arms are normally full. <laughs> so any shoe that I can just drop my foot into and not have to use my hands to get on is a win for me. Okay, so now that we're at feet, um, socks. Each of my kids has one pair of smart wool socks, one pair. Uh, they each have a different color. And so, and I just get them in um, like the size up as they grow and then hand down the size before. I buy them on Black Friday off um, like Backcountry or REI or the smart wool website itself. Um, they are a little bit thicker in the heel and the sole. So they do have a little bit of padding. Um, and like I said, they're smart wool, so they're, they've got wool and they keep my kids' feet warm and dry. Um, <laughs> and like I said, they each have their own pair, so they know what color to grab and how to put their socks on and how to put their boots on. And that's a huge win for me. You say hi. Um, let's see. So that's shoes. Okay, I guess we'll just keep going up. As far as base layers go, I do like each of my kids to have a fleece just in their collection, but you can get fleeces anywhere. Like go to your local thrift store and get, spend a dollar or $2 on a fleece for your kids. You don't need to buy expensive fleeces. The like Merino wool base layers are obviously awesome, but that's not something we wanted to spend money on. Costco also has awesome underlayers. Um, but honestly, my biggest hack for underlayers is fleece pajamas. I love fleece pajamas, footy or not. If you do footy pajamas, you don't have to do socks. Um, but I actually prefer like a two piece pajama because it makes it way easier to um, take your kids to the bathroom if you have a two piece pajama underneath of a one piece snowsuit. Sorry that my baby is distracted. Hey, like this. Um, but they can also just wear, like my daughter wore a dress under her snowsuit today. She just slipped it on over her dress and went out and played, came in and she was back in her dress again. So I often don't even put base layers on them because these snowsuits, which I'm about to show you, are plenty warm. These are the snowsuits we've settled on. The brand is Diedrichsen's. Um, we like the model, uh, the Bjornin and the Bar Raven. I can, I'll link them down below. Um, I find them, you can buy them right off the Diedrichsen's website, but there's lots of other websites that sell Diedrichsen's snowsuits. And one of the best places to go is eBay. You can just like search on eBay for like Diedrichsen's Bjornin or Diedrichsen's Braven and find the size you need. 
I will say they run really big. So, um, and they'll last your kids, like these will probably last my kids at least three years in this, these sizes and then I'll just buy one the next size up and hand the rest of them down. Um, they are definitely an investment. I think they're about between 100 and 30 and 180 dollars a piece so I've just been buying one every year and then handing the you know like handing them down the line um, let me tell you a couple things I love about these first of all they have this super warm hood with a uh, velcro thing so you can attach goggles um, you can also roll the hood down you can also detach the hood like you can detach the fur but the fur keeps my kids heads so warm my kids often take their hats off and so having an option of a really warm hood um, is great because then I don't care if they take their hats off. They also have um, this model, I don't know why it's not in this one, but this model has uh, suspender straps on the inside. So when it's hot, which it often is when we're skiing, they can drop their arms, oops, they can drop their arms um, out of the arms and just wear them like as suspenders and let that hang down in the back. I love that. They also have these really sturdy rubber, uh, what is this called? Stirrup that obviously goes under their boot. And so it, they literally never get snow in their boots. And then a super sturdy elastic cuff here. Um, what are some other features I love? They're completely windproof, completely waterproof. They're actually made, um, they're a, uh, not Norwegian, Swedish brand. And so they're made for like the Norwegian country, <laughs> excuse me, countries where, um, it's snowy like most of the year and freezing cold. Um, so they're just really, really durable and really, really warm. Like I said, my kids don't even really wear like base layers under them. They just wear either pajamas or their normal clothes and they're totally fine and they stay totally dry. They also have the uh, like cinch, you see that like the cinch button there on the side and so you can cinch up the waists um, to make them smaller and then bigger. Um, they also have extendable, uh, by the way, the company was founded in 1913, so they're very tried and true. Uh, they have extendable arms. I don't know if I can show you, but anyway, you can cut the like seams and then you can make the arms and the legs longer. Um, and then they have awesome, my kids love this feature, the hole like for your thumb. So they stick their arm in, put the thumb in, and then slip their gloves right on. So these, like I said, totally an investment. Stick with your like Carter's Columbia Costco snowsuits um, for as long as you can or as long as you need to. But if you're looking for a way to kind of upgrade your snowsuits and make an investment, these are the ones I would absolutely recommend. Um, Diedrichsen's is the brand. So anyway, this is what my kids have. Oh, and I was gonna mention the one thing about snowsuits that I love over two pieces, like over having bibs with a coat, is that I never have to zip my kids up. And that is also one of the huge like barriers to getting my kids outside is having to freaking zip their jackets all the time. Um, but with a snowsuit, any one piece, they just zip it themselves because there's no, they don't have to like attach the zipper at the bottom, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I love that as well. And then gloves, also Dietrichsen's. This is the first year that I feel like I have finally settled the great glove debate our family it's been like every year the gloves are fine but don't work as well as I want them to work and I finally found the perfect gloves they were actually recommended to, rented to me by my friend um, and I figured if they were Diedrichsen's brand then they would be really good because I love our snowsuits so they are indeed Diedrichsen's um, the they're made of a galone galone I think is how you say it fabric it's like a patented completely waterproof you can see they're kind of like plasticky almost but the amazing thing is they are fleece lined and most um these are this is called like a shell glove most shell gloves are not lined they're just like a plastic like a rubber glove essentially like a plastic waterproof shell and then you put your warm gloves on under them um and this is like two in one which is amazing i've never seen a glove that is legitimately like i mean these are taped seams and everything completely waterproof you can dunk them in the water but also fleece lined so it's a two in one again, and I don't have to struggle to get my kids in one pair of gloves and then in another pair of gloves. Now on really cold days, I do have just little liners. These are from Costco. Um, you can get like just the thin little kids gloves and they can wear these underneath. Or a lot of times it's not really cold enough outside um, to wear like full mittens. And so 
my kids will just wear little gloves like this. You can also just get like the sweater gloves on Amazon, you know, just like you can get like 10 for 10 bucks or whatever. Um, and those work just fine for days when it's like cold enough to be, to want to go play outside, but not cold enough to need like real, real snow gloves. Um, these mittens also, I don't like gloves for my kids. So that's why I'm saying mittens. Uh, that's why I got mittens. But these mittens also have like a, um, they have a really nice elastic cuff, first of all, that goes like, uh, almost up to their elbows, I would say. And then they have a really nice elastic, super easy closure. I like that it's a button and not Velcro because it won't wear out. Um, that I just button for them real quick before they run out and it keeps it snug on their wrist. So I, I really love those gloves. Um, my kids are to the point, I mean, the system is to the point where my kids can get all their snow gear on themselves and head out the door and my kids are, my toddlers are two, almost three and four. So I feel like that's pretty good. Um, and then I just have to help the baby, obviously. But I'm, uh, I, that's what I was trying to do is get it to where my toddlers could dress themselves and get themselves outside. Um, the other piece of gear that I have that I recommend for everyone if you're skiing, or even not, but definitely if you're skiing, is a turtle, this is a turtle fur, um, specifically, I love this brand, it's called Turtle Fur, um, what's this thing called? Balaclava, I think it's called actually. Um, and it goes under their ski helmets. So each of them have a different color, again, and it just, I'm not gonna put it on my head because it won't even fit, but it just goes over their heads and it's just a really thin, like, this is a little bit warm, but not really warm. Um, but it's thin, so it's under their helmet and then comes up to like their chin. So it keeps their neck and their chin warm. Also nice because when they take their hoods off, oh, here's the brand, you can see turtle fur. Um, when they take their hoods off, when they're skiing, at least their necks and chins stay warm. So they each have one of those, pink one for my daughter, blue one for my son, and I will get one for the baby next year when she's skiing. Um, the last piece of gear I, that I do, this is kind of a double, but I do have a beanie for each kid. Um, again, go to the, your local thrift store. One hat per kid. <laughs> um, so I don't have like a giant bucket of hats. And um, they, they a lot of times don't like to wear their hat, but I like to have it as, a, as an option for them if they wanna put a hat on. This particular brand is Slouch. I actually love this brand, um, but you don't need to buy expensive beanies for your kids. You can go to your local thrift store and get beanies. If you're gonna spend money on anything, gloves, snowsuit, boots, maybe not in that order, maybe boots, gloves, snowsuit, get your snowsuits last um, if you're trying to save money and invest over time. So that is our snow gear system. Every kid has, I'll just run through it really quickly, a pair of boots, a pair of smart wool socks, a Diedrichsen snowsuit, a pair of Diedrichsen's gloves, a turtle fur balaclava, and a beanie. And then, oh, and a pair of um, thin like glove liners. These would be optional or sweater gloves. Um, and then pajamas or whatever they wanna wear under it. Fleece sweats work fine. Um, or just regular clothes, depending on the day. The last thing I'm gonna show you though real quick is our rain, our rain gear. Um, the only difference in our rain gear and snow gear is the suit. So I get these rain suits off Amazon. There's a million brands. This particular brand is Tuffo, T-U-F-F-O. They are completely waterproof. They last for years because they're gigantic and they grow with my kids. Um, but oh, gross, as you can see. <laughs> they play hard in them and they can go down slides at the park. They can run around and splash in puddles, whatever, I don't care. It keeps them completely dry underneath. So again, they just wear their normal clothes or pajamas under their rain suits. They can slip their muck boots on they can throw on a pair of gloves if they're cold and they're out the door and I don't have to do any of it because I'm not zipping up jackets. Um, so there you have it. That is our winter gear system that I feel like is finally dialed in and I don't have any other pieces that I'm trying to, like pieces of the puzzle that I'm trying to put together like I have been for years. Um, the other thing I wanna tell you, this is extremely unconventional, but I keep all of our snow gear in a duffel bag. <laughs> This is a Patagonia black hole duffel. We actually have like a ton of them. Here's another one. Um, we have them in tons of sizes. I think this is the biggest size, the one I use for our ski gear. Um, they're amazing. I would never buy another duffel. They've got ripstop fabric. It's waterproof. 
and then um, the seams aren't taped so they're not completely waterproof but they're super water resistant and the zippers are gigantic like the actual zipper part actual zipper part so you don't have to worry about um breaking zippers and then they have like you can see them on this one they have backpack straps and so when i go up to the mountain i can throw this on my back like a backpack um it's just amazing and then i have arms for the kids so anyway the unconventional part of that is i keep all of our snow gear in a duffel bag i do not keep it hanging up because um I want to be able to grab, just like in the summer, I keep all of our like beach towels and swimsuits in a beach bag so we can grab it and get out the door and I'm not packing up ever. Um, I want to be the same way in the winter. If a friend wants us to come over, I want to be able to grab the duffel with all the snow gear and get in the car uh, and my kids can play in the snow with whoever's house, at whoever's house we're going to without me having to like try to put all the gear together on the way out the door, if that makes sense. The only thing that I don't keep in the duffel is their boots because they wear them constantly um but i keep all their snowsuits all their gloves socks and hats i actually just roll them up let me see if i can show you how i do this um and it makes it really, really easy so i take the snowsuit and then i put the socks um the gloves and socks gloves oh and the hat normally but I'm actually gonna keep the hat up right now um and then I just roll it up and when I oh these are the wrong gloves that's why I'm confused roll it up and when I unroll it all my kids' stuff is right there and they can put it on themselves which is amazing and then I just pop it in the duffel <laughs> so easy um and then you're probably like well how does the gear dry out doesn't it get all moldy well of course it would if i just kept it in there but um when we come in from playing outside or whatever we just lay our everyone lays their so snow suits on the ground in the living room and within a couple hours they are dry nice and dry and i can stuff them back in the duffel and we live in a very small house so i actually just keep the duffel bag out in the living room um kind of ugly but it works great i keep it out in the living room and can grab it and go at any time all their snow gears right here and i'm not unclipping because they're taking self hooks anyway i hope that was helpful to you i will leave links down below um i don't get like commissions or anything i don't think i have an affiliate on any of these websites but uh, if it's helpful for you to have links they'll be there again go slow but invest in really good pieces over time and you'll be super happy and your kids like the the encouraging thing to me and though how I want to encourage other moms is that it's possible to have a system where your kids can get their snow gear on by themselves starting at like two years old and get themselves outside. I didn't know that was possible until I saw friends doing it until I realized like, oh, there is gear out there that makes it easier or that, that makes it possible for my kids to put it on themselves. Um, and when I, I realized that, I started thinking, okay, what are my pain points? Like, what are the reasons that I hate sending my kids outside? Snow boots and gloves. And so those were the first things that I like worked really hard to hone in um, and to find pieces that I knew my kids could be independent and putting on. Anyway, hope this was helpful and we'll see you next time.